your mic went out. Did you know what was happening? So it's a funny story. And um, I knew that my mic had went out. I heard the distortion and then it came back in and I was like, oh my gosh, okay. Okay, now we're cooking. Everything's perfect. We're back to normal. And then it went out, but it came back in one last time and I could hear in my in-ear monitors. So I never knew that the entire stadium could not hear me. So I'm thinking, wow, I'm really doing a great job. The stadium is singing along with me, you know, and I, I do the, the national anthem so much that this had never happened before. And I thought, wow, man, there's a lot of patriotic fans here. And I got back to my green room and they were very apologetic. They were very sorry that this happened, but I did a great job. I was very professional about it. And I said, it's okay. You know, it happens. And I said, but thankfully the sound came back in. And the guy just looked at me and was like, mm, it didn't come back in. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> so that's when I found out that no one could hear me. That's crazy. So when you watch, have you seen the videos? I'm guessing at this yes. point, what's yeah. your reaction to that machine? You know, um, I can't even get upset about it. I mean, it was just, even when I was singing and I could hear the crowd in my in-ears, I just thought, wow, this is really magical. Like 75,000 people are singing the national anthem together. And, you know, when there's been so much controversy about the national anthem and you have a moment like that for such a historic game, I mean, that was phenomenal in itself. And so, you know, Yes, I wish I had been heard <laughs> the entire time, but you know, everything happens for a reason. And the feedback from the fans have been that they enjoyed that moment, being able to participate and sing. So it doesn't get any better than that. When I saw the video, I saw it first yesterday on Instagram and I got chill bumps. So, I mean, just like being in your shoes, I think that, that that's fantastic. Like the attitude you have about it. And the bits and pieces that we did hear from you were awesome. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure um, that everyone appreciated that. So, I mean, 75,000 fans, do you get nervous when you do? I mean, that's a huge crowd, record Man. crowd. Yeah, so it was like, you know, the anticipation leading up to it. I knew it was a big game. It was historic. And so I was really excited to, you know, perform for it, not realizing that, even though we had a great sound check, you know, the mic was going to fail during the performance, but um, it was still a great moment to be a part of and didn't know that this was going to turn into what it did. So, you know, it's still um, a positive experience for me. One video I saw on Twitter has 1.1 million views now. So, wow. I mean, that's <laughs> a big deal. Um, how long have you been singing the national anthem and, and doing this? Ooh, I have been singing this, oh my gosh, since like I was in high school and it spiraled from there. Um, and I was singing it for collegiate and then semi-pro teams. And then in 2011, I won a competition for the Boston Red Sox called Sing Your Way to Fenway. And I sung for opening day. And from there, it just so many people, so many teams, organizations were reaching out because they loved my rendition. And so I just have found myself on so many prestigious platforms to perform it. And I'm still waiting for the Super Bowl because <laughs> all my fans are like, when are you going to sing for the Super Bowl? We want to hear you. And I'm like, they haven't called me yet. So, you know, just in timing, I guess. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, if you, def if you get the Super Bowl, I'm going to reach out to you again and we're going to chat, but I think that this could do it. Like all these views <laughs> on these videos. So. so who do we call in the so. NFL? Um, that's awesome. Do you think that you'll be invited back to Charlotte for Charlotte FC I so do. we can do this again? I definitely do think that there's going to be a redemption round. <laughs> We've, um, you know, talked about future opportunities during the uh, football season. Um, so I hope to be back this year sometime to test out the system again. Um, I keep saying, oh, I guess my voice was so powerful that it blew the system. I hope they don't send me a bill in the mail next week saying... <laughs> 
<laughs> you owe us. You broke our system. <laughs> That's awesome, Michelle. Well, please let us know. We'll keep an eye out um, if you get the invite back. We would love to meet you. Yeah. Oh, say.